Okay, welcome back to our squat series, guys. It's me, Tom, and Jess. Hey, guys. And we are gonna run you through how to load your squat, this time with a back squat or, the bar or a barbell, like Jess has, but on her back. So, Jess, what do I need to think about when I'm back squatting? Great, so first up, when you're grabbing the bar, the most simple way to think about is where to, where to hold it is where you find that groovy bit meets the smooth bit. You're just gonna get your thumbs and you're gonna get one thumb width, place it there on either side, that's gonna be the, probably the most neutral grip that most people will feel comfortable in. Bringing it up to the front and then up overhead, just watching out for your head with the bar and just letting it rest on those shoulders. Okay, Jess, if you spin around for me, we're gonna talk people through a couple of things. So, key things to think about. If you are a girl or a man with long hair and the bar goes on your hair, just be aware of that. If you drop the bar and your hair's caught, that's gonna hurt, okay? So ponytails or buns typically work better. Uh, the next thing I want, to, I want you guys to think about is while we're in this position, I don't want Jess's elbows to come a long way back. So if they're coming, if Jess's elbows are back behind her flaring out like this, that's no good. What we want to do is actually, I'm going to spin, spin you 90 degrees, Jess. What we want to do is not let the elbows come out and her shoulders go forward. We want her elbows to be tucked in underneath. She's going to try and have a, a proud chest or a chest that's facing upwards. And then she's going to pull her elbows and activate her lats so the muscles underneath her armpit, she's gonna pull them down and back. So she's gonna bring them together like this. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna attach her, rib, her ribs, sorry, and her hips so that they're not gonna move independently of each other. From there, she's tight through her core and then she's gonna come down into her squat. Lovely, and come back up. So what you'll see while she's doing this is nice flat back, chest stays relatively tall, eyes stay relatively out in front, beautiful. What you're gonna notice with Jess is she likes to hinge a little bit. She sends her hips back before she comes down into the squat. That's fine, that's what works for her. If that's comfortable for you, give it a go, that's good. If you just like to sit down into that squat shape as well, that's fine too, all right? So things we need to be aware of when we're loading our, ourselves in a back squat is we don't want that butt wink or that, that folding forwards and rounding through our low back with weight on our back. What else are we looking for, Jess? Uh, we want to make sure that on the drive up, so we are loading up the lower body here. On the drive up, we don't want to have any caving in of the knees. So push the knees out before you drive up. That's going to engage those glutes and all those bigger muscle groups and not put pressure on the knees. Perfect. So if you're doing those things, your back squat should start to look really nice. Ask your trainers, ask your coaches, or ask us if you need help. We would love to help you get better at your back squat. Thanks, guys.